Start from the beginning? Yeah, I'm good enough. Are yeah. oh, you good? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so this one's good. Uploading now. Uh, so the background was mastered. So we're good to go. We're mm -hmm. good to go too, right? Yeah. With the, the, with the video? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna pump up the steerer to, let's say, 1,000 RPM or so, 900 RPM. And then this guy here to, say, 15%. Okay. You need a puppet, right? Uh, One. I think I have in the in the office, but if I don't, then you can just go to that store. I have pipettes. I think. Yep. Yeah. It's just squeeze it and it sucks. Yeah. And I have the the bulbs and everything in the in the office. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's really heavy, I guess. Yeah, it's really tight. Let's try like this. So we had a little bit. And we see how it goes there. So just pour a little bit? Just pour a little bit and there it goes increasing. Oh, increasing. it's already measuring? Okay, so we ran too much. Okay, so next oh. step. Oh, because it's in the red. Yeah, so okay. next step is we're going to clean this, right? When you do it, you're going to do it with alcohol. Yeah. Okay? This is the water. So any particles that are here it will no longer be entering your, your system. And now, if, if it happens to you with the... Mm, damn. Okay. Then you can add... In this case, you can add disperse it, right? So you can disperse. It means it's adding more water to it, right? Yeah. And the excess water is just going flushing away. So when we come back to the green, we just shut the dispersion valve off. And How would it go. work in my case because I'm doing al alcohol? I'm not sure. You better not go about. So I gotta be careful and then read over the manual carefully for alcohol, right? You can always open the dispersion. Uh, you can always open the dispersion valve since your drain is to the to the container. Yeah. It's gonna drain down there, but you're gonna have to refill it manually here. Oh, like pour with my hand? Yeah, alcohol okay. and then pour with your hand. When now, I disperse it. Now the, the only thing is that we have to shut down the dispersion water from coming into the system. And we're going to figure that out. Now that we are in the green, yeah. so now we can run the sand. Now it's going to do the run. And I would recommend that you do it um, with water a couple of times. Yeah, before I try before, the yeah, real yeah, thing. Yeah. That's, that's the thing to do, yeah. Okay, so the blue light is just below the limit. So that was once. It's doing it three times. Oh, okay. Oh, so the green thing three times, yeah. It's doing the whole, the whole measuring three times. So that's the second time? That this is the second time, and at some point we'll come back to the third time. Hey guys. So this is the third time? This is the last time, yeah. So apparently the light has a the normal light with the laser and then the blue light or something so it uses the two uh, okay so and here we have your, uh, your end result and that's the distribution of my uh and that's the distribution right? so if you see it says 45 to 70 i think yeah just try and try. yeah it says 45 to 75 right. and that's quite yes. accurate Okay. I mean, the peak is 75, right? Correct. So, uh, uh, around there. We can, uh, we can play a bit with the, uh, with the scale. 
And we can uh, we can click create a report so we can save this somehow I forgot um, result I forgot how. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to it later. So you can play with this. So you can start with say a 10 and end at 110. Yep. And then the distribution looks nicer. You can do whatever you want. Huh? Uh, and then you can send it to print or to data. And uh, I save this So chart. The, be the best thing is, uh, is to save it as data. When you save, Whenever you save, you save as uh, data or uh, CV, CSV, so comma separated value, and then you can break that into Excel and just plot your your way. Right? So you yep. don't have to depend on the on the computer report. You can do it just your way. So that's uh, that's how it is. Okay. And after that's done, how do I clean up? Okay. So we come back and open accessory here, and then in this particular case, we're gonna say clean. How many times? Let's say two times. And then we run a clean. We can empty. We can uh, uh, dig out, so we wouldn't need that. Uh, so these are the operations. In this case, clean. It's gonna empty first. It's gonna sonicate. It's gonna refill, flush away again. So it's gonna do everything for you. So that should be it. Um, now get familiarized with it. You already have the, the starch there. Yeah. Um, just test it a couple times. Let me. I have to go, but I will. I'll let. Uh, I'll let Reza know that you are here.